Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will demonstrate some of the functionality available from Surfer's worksheet view. The worksheet allows you to create, open, edit, and save data files. To create data in Surfer, first open up a blank worksheet by clicking File, New, Worksheet. In the worksheet, we can copy-paste, or directly type data into the cells. If we have data that has been saved to an ASCII data file, we can import it into the existing worksheet window by clicking in the top left cell where we want to import the data to begin, in this case, cell A2, and then clicking Data, Edit, Merge, selecting the data file to import in the Import dialog, and clicking Open. Alternatively, we can open one or more data files into a new worksheet window by clicking File, Open in Worksheet. In the Open dialog, select one file, or hold Shift or Control to select multiple data files in the Open dialog, and then click Open. With our data open in the worksheet, there are a variety of commands we can use to edit our data. The basic clipboard commands Cut, Copy, Paste, and Delete are located on the Home tab in the ribbon bar but the rest of the commands are grouped by type on the Data tab. The Edit section contains commands for adding or removing cells and data. The Find section contains Find Replace commands. The Format section contains commands for editing cell sizes and for the formatting of the data in the cells. The Data section contains commands for manipulating the data. The Coordinate System section contains commands for assigning or changing the coordinate system of the data and the Tools section contains the Track Cursor command. We'll go over a few of the more frequently used commands now. To transform data using user-defined or preset equations, click Data, Data, Transform. In the Transform dialog, the Transform With drop-down list allows for performing the transform on a column, row, or a cell. The Transform Equation box is where we enter the equation used to transform the data. We can click the Functions button to expand a list of predefined equations, or we can enter the equation by typing it in the box. The Z value in column C of this data file is meters, so we will type D equals C times 3.28084 into the box to convert these Z values to feet, and write the new values in column D. Below the Transform Equation box is the range of rows or columns to perform the calculation over. The last row is automatically set to the last row containing data, since we haven't selected specific rows of data. But we will change the first row to 2, so the header is not included in the transform. The equation can be copied down the row and applied to multiple cells using the Relative Cell References option. The Relative Cell References option is only available when the transform is set to Cell Variables. Check the box next to Relative Cell References to use this tool. The Transform Equation is only applied relatively by incrementing the row numbers. The last three drop-down boxes tell Surfer how to handle empty cells, text cells, and numeric cells. When we click OK, we see the worksheet update. To filter your data to deal with duplicates or to exclude values that meet certain criteria, click Data, Data, Spatial Filter. In the Spatial Filter dialog, set your X, Y, and Z columns using the drop down list in the Input Column section. In the Output Column section, Define the column you want the new X, Y, and Z to be written to. By default, these are the first three empty columns. In the Duplicate Data section, we can choose what to do with duplicate data points. Duplicate points are points where the X and Y values are the same, within the defined tolerance settings. Choose which of these values to keep when duplicate data points are found by selecting one of the options in the To Keep drop-down list. In the Data Exclusion Filter section, we can enter an equation defining certain data to exclude. For example, 
If we only want to plot data with a z-value less than 1000 feet, we'll make sure that the z is set to the column D and we'll type z greater than or equal to 1000 in the data exclusion filter box. When we click OK, we'll see the relevant data copied over to columns E, F, and G. To compute statistics for your data, select the column or columns that you wish to calculate statistics for. Click Data, Data, Statistics. In the Statistics dialog, in the Select Items to Compute section, we can select which statistics to calculate. By default, number of values, sum, minimum, maximum, mean, and standard deviation are chosen. Checking the box next to the statistic name will add that statistic to the calculation, and unchecking the name will remove it. In the data section, we can define whether the data is sample or population data, and we can specify if there is a header row at the top of our worksheet by checking the box next to labels in the first row. In the results section, we can choose whether we want to display the statistics in a pop-up window or whether we want them to be written to our worksheet, beginning at a user-defined cell. In the Data Range to Include section, we can choose how much of the data we use for the calculation. The options are to use all of the data values, use the data values within a user-specified range, use the data values outside of a user-specified range, and use all data values except for a user-specified value. The latter is useful for eliminating a null value, like negative 999 from statistic calculations. We will use all data values. Click OK to calculate the statistics. Since we chose to display the results in a window, a statistics results window displays the statistics. We can click the copy button to copy this information to the clipboard, or click the close button to close this dialog. To convert coordinates to a different coordinate system, click Data, Coordinate System, New Projected Coordinates. In the New Projected Coordinates dialog, in the Source Column section, set X and Y to the columns containing the X and Y values you wish to convert. In the Target Column section, X and Y are automatically set to the first two empty columns in the worksheet, so we can leave these alone. The Source Coordinate System section is where we set the current coordinate system for the values in the X and Y source columns defined above. Click the Ellipses button next to the name, then either load a georeferencing file or navigate to and select the desired coordinate system. Click OK to assign that coordinate system to the coordinates in the Source X and Source Y columns. The Target Coordinate System is where we set the desired coordinate system we want our X and Y to be in. Click the Ellipses button next to the name, then either load a georeferencing file or navigate to and select the desired coordinate system. Click OK. Click OK to perform the projection. We can now see the new X and Y values in columns H and I. At the top of the worksheet, Surfer indicates which columns are the X, Y, and Z columns by displaying an X, Y, and Z character to the right of the column letter designation. These columns are the defaults when creating a map or grid file. We can reassign the X, Y, and Z columns by clicking Data, Data, Assign XYZ Columns, and then choosing New Columns in the Assign XYZ Columns dialog for X Easting Column, the Y Northing Column, and the Z Elevation Column. When we click OK, we can see X, Y, and Z move to display in columns H, I, and D. Now, if we make a post map from this data file, we will see the X automatically uses column H and the Y automatically uses column I. Lastly, we can use the track cursor command to see which row in the data file corresponds to each point in the post map. We will click the View, Windows, Tile Vertical command to see the worksheet and the plot windows next to each other. And then we can click on a point in the plot to
to see which row it corresponds to in the data file. Or, we can click a row in the data file to see which point on the plot it corresponds to. This command only works correctly if the XYZ columns are properly assigned in the worksheet. When you are finished editing your data, you can either click File Save to save the changes to the same name, file path, and file extension as the original file, or you can click File Save As to save the changes to a new name, file path, and or file extension. This concludes the video training for Surfer's Worksheet. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.